we got a very important message on honor today. And I think Alyssa will need some help. So, you ready for that? Okay, I'm going to pray for her in the message, and we will get this show on the road. Father God, thank you for the day. Uh, thank you for these kids and just uh, the excitement in here that uh, you get to bring and just have fun. God, I just ask that you uh, speak through Alyssa. God, as uh, she talks about honor um, and, and uh, friendship, and God, I just ask that uh, these kids here can they use it in their lives and not fight. Okay, so first thing I need everybody to do is take a deep breath in. Mm. Mm. And let it out. Mm. Calm, good. Yummy. Okay, so can somebody remind me what we talked about last week? Um, something. Yeah, what about David and the last? Oh, power. Glorious, guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, hey, Tucker. Nerd.
your boat and your belt don't have all that, but there's something for you. So, almost immediately after this, they was promoted to the high rank in Saul's army. You can imagine how this might make Jonathan feel. Who knows? Maybe he even used Jonathan's sword and bow in battle. But, but, but it's not Jonathan who became jealous. It was actually Saul. But you see, people started to notice how successful David was. He was a military leader, and they started to sing all about his many victories and his many more victories than Saul. This didn't go well with Saul, and Saul began to watch David very closely. You see, Saul's jealousy continued to grow the more David succeeded, and finally Saul had enough. One day, he told his son Jonathan in his tent to kill David. Oh, they know that. Now, besides the whole killing thing, what else might be a problem with asking Jonathan to do that? Um, Jonathan is David's best friend. Exactly. You would now if if, you, if your mama told you to kill your best friend, listen. I would call nine one one. Good job. That's a good <laughs> Jonathan, yeah, that's right. Jonathan is best friend with David. <laughs> On top of that, they swore a covenant to each other. Anyone know what a covenant means? No. Hey, look at the covenant. No, a covenant is a promise. What does that mean? I don't know. A covenant is a Maybe cabinet. Now you might read. Cabinet, maybe? That's probably I'm not reading it. Hey, did you read for me? So Jonathan warned, warned my father Saul, Saul has, is looking for a chance to kill me. Be very careful tomorrow morning. Find a place to hide and stay. My father and I will come and stand in the field where he is hiding. I'll speak to I'll speak to him about you. Then I'll tell you what I find out. Nervous. Y'all didn't even say the book. Yes. Samuel 19, there, that better. Well, he met with his dad and tried to smooth things over. He told him some good things about David and pleaded David's case. I need somebody to read one more time. Please go to Aiden John Aiden. He is the Aiden on you. And what? Y'all are so immature. David had put his own life in danger when he killed Goliath. The Lord used him to win a great battle. And the whole nation of Israel, or before the whole nation of Israel, when he saw it, you were glad. So why would you do anything to harm a man like David? See, Saul listened to Jonathan and made a promise that he would not do anything to kill David. Jonathan went and had David brought before him. David went and hid in the field and 
instead of showing up to eat breakfast at the king's table as usual. The king really didn't think much of it the first day. But when David's place was empty the next day, Saul asked where he was. This was a part of the plan. You see, Jonathan was to gauge Saul's feelings towards David by how he reacted. Well, Jonathan informed Saul that David went to Bethlehem to offer a sacrifice with his family. The reaction? Let's read. Who wants to read? No, not the yeah, third. Saul burned with anger against Jonathan. He said to him, You are an evil son. You have refused to obey. I know that you are on the side of Jesse. You should, you should be ashamed of that, and your mother should be ashamed of that. Ow! 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 Ow!
when Jonathan could have changed his mind, even if he wanted to, right? He could have been like, well, I want to be king, so I'm going to risk my friend getting killed. What? He wants, I mean, when you're in a royal family and you're not going to be king next, you do anything to get there, right? I watched a TV show about that. Even if you're not king, you're still royal. So deal with it. But he was faithful to David in the end. He put him, he put him above himself, even at what it cost him. It's easy to honor our friends when it means you're going to get going to experience it as well. But what about the times when you're honoring somebody? Somebody else means you get to miss out. By celebrating someone else's success. You and your best friend try for the team, but only your friend makes the team. So, just like Jonathan and David with the throne, there's two men, but one throne.